Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one week away from Team of the Year, and I think we're going to see this weekend the first bit of the Team of the Year market crash. That's what we're going to be talking about today, because everybody knows that after this weekend, we're looking towards Team of the Year. This might be the last weekend league before Team of the Year comes out next Friday. And that means a lot of people are preparing for that and will be selling cards this weekend. Now, we talked about it a lot in the past couple of videos is that this weekend is going to be a great time to sell some cards. And today, especially with the lack of content, no new promotion was put out, no new cards and packs. Um, there was a lot of prices that went super duper high in the last, you know, eight to 12 hours on this game. So I want to talk about prices that are high still. Prices that you might see linger a little bit and stuff that you're going to see dropping off very, very soon. You can already start to see it a little bit on the market and we're going to talk through that. But this is kind of like maybe a last chance to get your stuff out before it goes down this next week for team of the year. Because again, one thing that, one thing that I expect to happen during this next week as we lead into team of the year is people are really not going to want to buy. Take a look at some of these prices. If you guys know these cards prices at all, Sancho Record Breaker, 300,000 coins. I got a sale today, 467 for team of the group stage De Bruyne, Thorgan Hazard at 186. Some of these cards on the market, if we take a look through, you know, uh, some of these special cards in FIFA are just very very inflated at the moment. A lot of cards are up. They've rebounded a lot. Lewandowski, 290,000 coins. That is a card that I watch a lot. He is very high in price. Some of these freeze cards, right? Bernardo, Bernardo Silva is up a decent amount. This Martinez was like 250, 260. Um, St. Maximin is actually down a decent amount. This guy was 1.05 mil earlier today. So some of the, not, I wouldn't call this part of a crash. These guys are still kind of at their normal prices, but I think what you're going to start to see today on Saturday and of course uh, into Sunday as well is just consistently downward trending prices as people finish their weekend leagues and start selling this stuff off. This Rashford today was 1.06 mil. Um, you know, a lot of stuff is is actually starting to go downwards a little bit in price right now already. And I think you're gonna continue to see that. So I just wanna kinda talk about what stuff is gonna get hit the hardest and what stuff um, will maybe not get hit the hardest. We'll talk about some of that stuff too. There's some headliner cards that scored some goals, uh, namely Mr. Ben Yedder, who is right now I think right around 1.1 million coins. He's 1.16. He had two goals today. And I think Monaco are now on three wins and a possible inform worthy performance by Ben Yedder. So we're going to keep an eye on this card. Post game, it looked like he was up to like 1.2 mil almost. Went back down to almost 1.1 flat, it looks like. And now he's rebounded back up to 1.16. Um, that's very interesting because, again, we're in a period where a lot of the market's getting sold off. But this card is staying Hi, so let's talk about some very popular players, right? Neymar, Ronaldo, Mbappe. These guys right here, Ronaldo's already down 20K. These guys are going to drop a lot, right? We're looking at Mbappe. Where was he earlier this year when the panic happened, right? Last week, he was 877,000 coins. He went back over 900K today. I would not be surprised if this Mbappe card is honestly like 820,000 coins at the end of this weekend. I think it's going to be a steep sell-off. You know, we're talking on Xbox, probably prices in like the 650, 630, maybe even 620 range. I would expect almost like 100K drop-offs on some of these cards. I really think you do because again, one thing we've noted this year is that these cards are cheaper than they have been in previous years because so many people have already packed them untradeable. And with all the packs, more and more, every single year, there's more and more lightning rounds, more and more special packs released on FIFA. And that's more supply for these gold cards that are in packs a predominant amount of the time, especially a guy like Neymar, who has no special cards this year. This guy was down to 673 last week at his lowest. I think he goes back down under 650, maybe even in the 630 range in this week in league sell-off. I think it's going to be really severe this week. And if it's not really severe this weekend, then it's going to continue to be more selling off during the week because everybody right now, we're in that final countdown waiting time until team of the year actually starts, which since we don't have a promo going on right now, um, this is what a lot of people are asking. Why did EA not put a promo out today? It would have seen, and we were talking about this all week. We were thinking it would have happened. And the way EA likes to do stuff in this game, we would have thought that they'd be dropping a Team of the Year nominees promo leading right up into Team of the Year. But 
This last week, the content's been, been pretty quiet, and now with no promo on the weekend, it almost looks like, and EA does this sometimes in FIFA, is where they, they have a, a big week of content, right? The, the first week of headliners, pretty big content week with the Icon SBCs, with the other SBCs that came out with like Kleiber and with Robin and stuff like that. That was a pretty big week of content for set one of headliners. Set two, they really toned it back. Besides Tavernier, you know, even McSauce and Milner SBCs were not that hype. Um, they really toned it back to kind of make us feel like we maybe are ready for more and to kind of create that fluctuation so the content it isn't always up here. So they kind of backed it off for a week, making us want more, right? Making us want more. Maybe people need to take a little bit of a break from the game. And whenever you see EA do this, usually they come back with big time content. And I think this week in FIFA might be a week where EA put out more party bag SBCs. They put out more icon packs to take one last opportunity to drain coins off of people's clubs in this game. Now we did get a couple more icon SBCs. We got Roberto Carlos, Cannavaro, and JJ Acocha. Now these are kind of nice because they're out for 24 days each, which means that during team of the year in the next couple weeks, you're gonna be able to craft these icon SBCs if you're opening a lot of upgrade packs especially if EA has upgrade packs like this out in the game, you're going to be able to craft these cards with a lot of the high rated duplicates that you pack from trying to pack the team of the year. So that's kind of nice. You know, Cannavaro comes in at like 890,000 coins for this Icon SBC, which is about 100, 150K for what is cheaper than what his card was. This Roberto Carlos is not a, ter a terrible deal either. If you really want like a mainstay uh, left back icon in your team, uh, because I think this SBC is about a mil, 1.1 mil, and his card on the market was like 1.3. He's maybe dropped a bit, but you know, these none of these icon SBCs this year have been incredible, incredible deals. Kaka, honestly, who's 1.6 mil on the market, and I think this SBC is about 1.3. That's like the biggest price difference, and, and from what I've seen, uh, from an icon SBC to the market value. Now, of course, the market value for all these cards is going to continue dropping, so. If it's a card that you do want to do, crafting it during Team of the Year is a pretty decent option. Um, but those aren't terrible SBCs that we got. Just kind of, for Friday content, we were just left a bit puzzled, I guess you could say, as to why that was the only content that we got uh, yesterday on Friday. But again, the main point of this weekend is just a weekend league sell-off and a lot of these prices that you're going to see continually dropping down. And I know it's only Saturday morning, but I'm already seeing this, uh, this Mbappe card dropping down like 15 to 20k and you start to see stuff like this right you start to see open bid listings you start to see stuff like that undercutting open bid listings on cards that have chem styles that have games played and stuff like that and that is just the prime example and uh, a prime prime time weekend league sell-off right is you do see like some of these open bids and stuff like that that's just somebody who has played their weekend league. They're getting rid of the card. They got their 14 wins or whatever, and they're out. So I think you'll start to see a lot of that sell off. Um, again, we're already starting to see it happen on a few cards, like I pointed out, uh, because stuff got really crazy, crazy high today. Like, let me check on Jad and Sancho, right? This card I sold at 300,000 coins, a very rare out of packs item. Is he still 300K? with the links to Tavernier, um, the links to the Royce in Team of the Week, to the Holland. No, he's back to 289, 290. So some of these cards have started to trickle back off a little bit. Again, more open bids and stuff like that. Expect to see more of that this weekend. Now, let's say you're still playing your weekend league games. You're like, yo, I'm not going to be able to sell until Sunday. When does the market hit its lowest? That's going to be a very, very hard time to predict, right? It's going to be very hard to try to predict when the market is going to hit its lowest, but... Um, I do think that a lot of times, I don't know if you guys remember earlier this year during the, actually it was the record breakers promo, right? It was, uh, no, it was during team of the group stage, the morning after team of the group stage, um, we saw the market going down and there was a lot of trading groups. And I guess I can just call them Patreons, right? They were telling their people to sell cards in their teams because they were going to go lower. Now, I'm curious to see if we wake up on Saturday or even if it's throughout the day on Saturday, if we see massive undercutting, massive panic selling, not because of what EA puts in the code or what content we're worried about coming, but just because we know that it's team of the year. People bought up a lot of cards this weekend to try to get extra weekend league player picks uh, with extra wins. And... Um, 
Uh, you, you, you actually look at these prices, man. Wynaldum's down twenty five thousand coins. Pogba is down twenty thousand coins. Uh, the, these cards are starting to drop a little bit already. But I'm just wondering if we will see again one of those crashes where you see that like the market drops so fast and so much that it's too much, and you have all this panic selling and all this undercutting that it actually reaches uh, reaches a really low point today on Saturday. Now I'm not gonna go out and say that you need to buy your team today on Saturday. It's gonna be low a weekend but again if you're somebody who's going to be selling all your cards from your team whether that's out of packs cards like rule breakers in forms team of the group stage or even like in packs gold cards right like uh ronaldo mbappe neymar uh bruno fernandez rashford like a lot of these gold cards ron they're gonna get destroyed over the next couple of weeks yes some of them might bounce back a little bit but a lot of them are gonna get destroyed because again it's just the amount of supply that gold cards have and people worrying about them getting packed again and even more during team of the year which is going to drop their prices so um i'm just a little bit scared for those and i think you might see you know just at, at, we'll, we'll talk about it later. I need to see the start of the panic selling today and tomorrow to really start to decipher, hey, what is going to be a buy time on some of these cards? I don't think I would go out on a limb and say that, hey, today on Saturday, it's going to be a buy time. But if you're selling cards from your team, if you're, you may, you're decimating your squad, you're getting full liquid, right? This is basically, I always run an untradeable squad, but um, if you're going full liquid and you're selling your team, um, then you know, you're obviously going to have a lot of coins up in the top left and you're going to be wanting to know when can I buy my team? Well, the first thing for that is you got a plan, right? So one thing I want you guys to do is think about what your plan is during team of the year over this next week. Do you want to find a low point and buy some cards for your team, make some investments, or is it time for you, which a lot of people are already starting to do this, is it time for you to start bidding on rare cards, right? From Premier League or whatever league it may be to try and stack up rare golds for upgrade packs because these cards are already getting going on bid for 750 to 800 coins. Um, a lot of people are gonna be starting to buy these rares this weekend because they're gonna go on a sign. They're gonna want it to do this for upgrade packs and stuff like that. So if you wanna get a little bit ahead of the game, you can do some of that, but it doesn't help right now that we already have upgrade packs that are out that people are buying rares for to stack up for team of the year as well. So if you do want to buy rares, I mean, we're getting really close to crunch time, honestly. So if you're going to go on a sign, if you're saving packs, or if you want to buy a bunch of rares for upgrades, that is a way that you could go as well um, on the, the market. A lot of you guys have SBC fodder as well. And I want to talk about this for a second. Like I said, I think EA is going to drop some sort of SBC this week that will raise the fodder market because it's going to you know, be an SBC that people want to do. And again, Think about what I just said earlier about people panic selling their teams and getting their coins liquid before team of the year. When stuff like that happens, when EA drops big SBCs or icon SBCs or party bags, stuff like that, people have coins up in the top left. And sometimes they say, yo, you know, I've got, I've got this many coins up in the top left. I can maybe afford to go ahead and take a risk on this base icon player pick SBC. Just an example that EA could do this next week because they've got the coins sitting in the top left, right? So I think people are more apt to doing SBCs like that when they have their coins available after they've sold the team. So a lot of fodder is up a little bit, but it's still kind of low. So I think if you have invested in fodder, I think you honestly can probably hold on to it for the next couple of days. Um, the index 86 market, I think is up a bit, um, because of the icon SBCs today, just up a little, not too much. Same thing with like the index 84 and 85. If you want to keep track of how the panic selling is going this weekend, keep a watch on index icons and index special over here on Footbin, because index icons is going to be a great way. As you can see right now, it's at 82 points, which check uh, the daily graph. It was down at 75 points earlier this week before the weekend league hit. So right now, the icons, are a lot of them are very high. We saw a lot of icons get super duper rare today and sell at some crazy prices. That's what happens on Friday nights after promos and just when there's a lot of demand for weekend league anyway. And so this will be a good index to watch the panic selling on today. So I know the market's not crashing yet, but I wanted to get your attention and talk about it today because this is people, this is like the last chance before team of the year. And I think a lot of people are being told to sell this weekend. And if you combine that with just the general knowledge that team of the year is coming and that we expect the market to crash during that time frame, 
I think you are going to see a lot of prices go down today into tomorrow and on this game, right? I've got a transfer list full of special cards that I've been kind of watching, keeping my eyes on. Um, of course, like this Davies card is being hit because of Sink Robin. So this guy's actually down a lot right now, which is, un I mean, this card's going to get prit hit pretty hard. Of course, he might get a team of the year as well, which might drop, drop his price a little bit. Um, but I think you're going to see, I, I mean, I'm kind of excited, but also curious to see the number and the amount of panic selling this weekend because I think it could get pretty nasty, boys. I really do think it could get pretty nasty just because so many people, and even myself, like I'm recommending that you guys still sell because a lot of these prices are pretty high, but the longer you wait, the lower it's going to drop. More people obviously are going to remember Team of the Year is coming in the next week or so, and they're going to want their coins because they know prices go lower during that time frame. So I'm just saying watch the panic selling today. If you're watching live cards uh, like Road to the Finals, like Headliners and stuff like that, keep in mind that those cards are usually one of the first ones to bounce when there's panic because A, they're rare, and B, they're live items. They can get upgraded at any time that person has a great performance. So keep those cards in mind, and we'll talk about the best investments headed into Team of the Year and what will happen after Team of the Year later on this week as we get near that Team of the Year FIFA 21 time period. But for now, watch the market drop. Good luck finishing your weekend league. And we'll see if EA drops any content today on Saturday to keep us entertained uh, with the fact that there's not a lot going on in this game right now until team of the year comes out. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Also check out the TikTok link. I made a TikTok. We're going to try it out. Uh, that is in the description as well. But it's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.